Move to... Wait. Okay, I already got all the hint coins. Got all the hint coins. There's no... There's no hidden puzzles anywhere yet. Was that to say first hidden puzzle? North Parade Avenue. I guess we're searching here. It looks like the knights have given up searching for us. Thank goodness. Yes, it seems you're right, Luke. From the look of things, we should be safe to explore a little more before making our way to the Great Archive. Oh, hello. Uh, should I be talking to the people who really tried to oust me? You didn't grab it yet? Oh, okay. Did you two see the latest story? Mm, when you say latest, I am to assume that these parades are held on a regular basis? You mean you don't know that? People these days, no one knows a thing. Found it. Oh, nice! Never mind, I'm a forgiving sort. I suppose I should fill the gaps in your knowledge. <laughs> That's not very polite. <clears throat> The storyteller appears in a parade before the common people whenever he writes a new story. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah, it's time to treat yourself. It would be no overstatement to say that I spend every waking day looking forward to the stories that he provides. So you look forward to the stories in which witches burn people? What are you saying? Oh, well, okay, this man has multiple glasses. That only happens to be in the story this time. Usually the storyteller writes the most wonderful stories. That's why I thought he would give us a wonderful chapter today, too. Instead, I found myself caught up in the crowd. My glasses were broken, and I was bitten by a dog. Shit, why are you, what, what's wrong, Seer? Don't feel down. Every cloud has a silver lining, as they say. Don't feel down, don't feel down, you say? Do I look like I am feeling down? Ah, no way am I feeling down. If my unhappiness is recorded in the storyteller's pages, then so be it. Oh, sorrow, a part of me is such sweet sorrow. Wow, that guy's a nutter. Let's not talk to him again. It seems that not all stories are uh, born equal. Oh, no. Well, it's okay. We'll, we'll get it up at, at some point, Seer. Don't worry. A little bit at a time. Why do I feel that a person's character might have something to do with it? Okay, let's talk to Tugget. Ah, oh, it's you two. You were causing quite a bit of commotion earlier. We weren't causing a commotion. The storyteller's story is always right. And I cannot abide anyone saying otherwise. Then you believe that a witch will appear and commit some foul crimes? Of course I do. The storyteller decides everything that happens in this town. Soon there will be puzzles. Ah, whether folks meet with good fortune or ill all that comes to pass is already decided and by the storyteller. Whoever the victims are, they're probably up to no good on a regular basis. I spend every day as an upstanding citizen, so even if a witch does appear, I have absolutely nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about! Hmm? <laughs> Darn! Um... No use pretending I'm afraid of the witch. Nah, it's over for me. Maybe you ought to go home as soon as you can. You want puzzles? I want tacos. Damn. Oh, whoops. Sorry, young lady. I scared away your pigeons. Oh, let's not talk to you. Okay, let's see if we can find anything. Oh, bump it up. Yeah. Yeah, now I want... Sh I'm sorry, but I was just like, man. That Nutella pita thing was good, but I want, like, food food now. Which I could order, honestly. Uh, oh! I think I might even have, like, a coupon. Yeah, Yeah! 
Okay, is there anybody else to talk to? No? Okay, and then I'll go closer. Bink! Up we go. Maybe there will be a puzzle to get into this place. Here we are! This is the Great Archive. Look at it! Well, it's very tall. Damn. Wow! It looked impressive even from a distance, but now that we're up close, it's huge! Just looking at it makes my neck ache. It must have taken considerable time and manpower to erect a building of this size. <laughs> yes, it did. The building has become something of a symbol for the town. Wait, really? Aw. I mean, they're good, but there's also good other good tacos. Hmm? Hey, look at that roof over there. Looks like it suffered considerable fire damage at some point. Was there a major fire or something? Uh, that... that was... I've been listening for a while, and I must say you two really are strange. Oh, it's you! That roof has been like that for some time. It's certainly nothing new. R really If it's all right with you, could you tell us a little about it? You two never cease to amaze me with your incredible lack of knowledge. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to tell you. That damage is from the legendary fire. A legendary fire? Yes, long ago there was a huge fire that engulfed most of the town. The damage there occurred at that time. You can see other traces of the fire around that town, too, here and there. The entire town was engulfed in a huge fire? All the townsfolk know about it. <laughs> They're probably the only ones who don't. Wow, shut up, Petter. Your name is dumb. Thank you for filling us in. That certainly cleared up a few things. No problem. So happens I had nothing else, or I had nothing better to do. It wasn't such a bad way to kill time. Anyway, I'll see you around town. Wow, you're following us, and you're weird. To think only even a building of this size could be affected by fire. The fire that spread through the town really must have been legendary. <laughs> Certainly right about that, Luke. And Espella, is something the matter? Oh, um, no, nothing at all. Shall we make our way inside? Hmm? The Great Archive. Well, first... Oh, look, it's the mailman! <laughs> Uh-oh, not good. What shall I do? Uh, what's the matter? Is there something troubling you, madame? It's a male lady! It's hard to tell. They're very androgynous looking. Oh, yes, something certainly is troubling me. I mean, today's scary story. It's just so frightening. I may be afraid, but I have to do it. I have to finish my delivery. See this? A whole satchel full of letters. A letter fest. And I have to deliver them all. Oh, my. That really is a lot of letters. If you'd like, I could help by delivering a few of them for you. Oh, it's Spella? No, no, it's all right. After all, it's my job. <laughs> and anyway, you look busy right now yourself. Oh, well, a little, but we should always help each other in times of need. I I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I've got it covered. Right, I'm off. I can do this. I can deliver them all. The letters, I mean. Nothing can stop the Labyrinthia Courier. Ah, she's gone. She really was in a hurry, wasn't she? But is she really all right? She seemed a bit flustered. I think she's just very, very busy. Come on, let's head to the Great Archive. This whole town had once been burned to the ground. It's hard to imagine damage on that scale. I know, seriously, it is. Uh, One second, I'm looking at... Uh, that, that, that. Okay. Oop! Give me that coin! 61. I have so many hint coins. 
Oh, it's you! Cutesy wootsy talking lady. Oh. Think! 62. Can't wait till I get 69 and then I can be like, nice. And then immediately mess it up by getting like the 70th one. Where is the last hit coin? Is it in the cobblestones? It's in the bushes! You yeah, found a hint coin. Wait, who the hell are you? Well, I can't look at you, but you've got one of those things on your neck. A puzzle! Seer, your wish has come true! A puzzle. Most puzzling. Oh, God. I'm trying to search because now that I've talked about food, I'm like, man, now I want food. Like, food, food. I just want, just give me the burrito, please. Why does everything have to come in a meal? I don't need a meal, I just need a burrito. I'll get one hash brown. God, that looks so sad all by itself. Okay. It just won't do. It's completely unacceptable. W what's unacceptable? There's no one in the world more splendid than Inquisitor Barnum. And yet every time it's that woman who gets to stand alongside the story teller. It's so unfair. You mean the woman who was distributing the story to the crowd, is that right? To be honest, I found her a little scary. I'm sure it's also a plan of hers. I just feel sorry for my poor Jack, my poor Jackums. Oh, if only I could get closer, I could offer my support. It would certainly be difficult to get close with that bustling crowd all around. Perhaps even dangerous. I'd fly. Huh? I could float down beside him from one of the fluffy clouds in the sky. What the f Hello? Excuse me. <laughs> she can fly? Why did nobody tell me that she could fly? Puzzle. 15. Cloud maze. Navigate Luke through the clouds and help him find the professor. Jumping into holes in the clouds will drop Luke down to the level below. Likewise, jumping onto a fluffy cloud will send him flying up to the level above. Touch the arrows. You can also use the control pad or the circle pad. Okay. We gotta reach the goal. Look at, look at my little guy. Look at my guy. Oh! Now we're here. Where is the goal exactly? I can't get down there. Okay, I gotta. Eh? Quonk. I really like this a lot. Man. I wonder if the newer Leightons are kind of like this with the interactivity of the puzzles. Okay, so let's drop down here. Quonk. There we go. I need to get in that hole, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna assume that if I go up here... Aha! I need to get in there. I can't get in there. Well... Ah, I'm back here! Ah, gosh! <laughs> no! Okay, well... Well, down we go, I guess. Jeez. Okay, uh, let's try going... That leads to nothing. Wait, can I get to that fluffy cloud? I can! Let's go to that fluffy cloud. Man, we got this, like, intense puzzle music while we're doing this. Okay. So let's drop down here now. That should let us... Okay, now we're over here. Okay, okay, I think we're making progress. Down the hole. Okay. Ah ha ha! 
Down again! Okay, Leighton has to be down here. Oh! Okay, this has- to, uh, this is the final level, okay. It's the goal! The G! Oh, this way. Ah, uh, we made it! <laughs> Yay! See what you think of this. Yeah, of course I solved it! <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't have gotten to him. Yeah. Yeah, all the picker rats. Luke and the professor have been reunited. Great job. Uh, professor, I don't think she's coming back. We can only hope that she manages to reach the man she's after. <laughs> okay. Well, in we go, I guess, after that strange incident. Wow, there are books crammed here from floor to ceiling. Truly remarkable. Are all these books stories? Yes, they are. All of them. It's said that these were all written by the storyteller. Okay, there we go. Food order placed. I swear, I I should have really eaten something more before I started streaming, but I was like, I'll be fine. And then halfway through stream, I'm like, man, I'm very hungry. All of these books, but there are so many. Uh, excuse me, beg your pardon, look out, Gangway! Oh no, I've got him, uh, don't worry, b b b piece of cake. Dewey, you look ridiculous. Ew, told you, no problem. Get it, Dewey, probably because of the Dewey Decimal System, a way to organize books in a library. I know things. If you ask me how it works, I don't know how it works, but I know it exists. Sorry to startle you folks. I didn't think anyone else was here. That's all right. It's lucky that you didn't drop any books. I don't think I've seen anyone carry so many books at once. Uh, aren't they heavy? I can't. Welcome on in. How are you doing today, princess? You remember back like in middle school and they made you learn how to look up books with that system? Yeah, and now like, I don't know. I really should go to the library more, but I love books. So I feel like a mother carrying her baby, or like 20 babies. If you love books too, why not carry a few with me? I do love books, but I don't think I could carry that many. You obviously don't understand the true enjoyment of books. Oh no, he's a book gatekeeper. Get out of here, Dewey. You can't sleep? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that this helps with the sleeping, with the, the talking and the puzzles and things. I mean, yeah, like I said, I do love hanging out with you, Cat. but yeah, I do like when you're able to sleep as well. It's a conundrum. Embracing books, uh, being buried in books, the feel of books, the smell of books, listening to the sound of the pages turning, gazing up at books piled high, being surrounded by books and playing with them. That's how to enjoy books. Play? No, you'll mess up the pages that way, Dewey. I'm not sure I totally agree. That guy is you. <laughs> Being buried in books, surrounded, the smell, the sound. So did you end up ordering that um, that UPS that we looked at? Because that does seem like, like it's a little bit on the pricey side, but I mean, UPSs usually aren't super cheap. And also, as long as it's got that longevity, it's worth it. It's just good to have one. I actually had to swap out some plugs with mine because it was getting overloaded, and I'm like, you were doing fine for a while, but as long as my PC and at least one monitor's on there, that's good. Um, Dewey? Eh, th that voice! That's a Spella, isn't it? Uh-oh! Why, uh-oh? <laughs> Here we go again! Um, please remain calm. You wouldn't want to drop those books. You're finally in bed. Yay! Congratulations. Is Zunder also in bed? Tomorrow you'll probably order it. I gotcha. Please, yeah, you wouldn't want to drop this. Just leave it to me. See, uh, all under control. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you like that. Dewey, we've come here to find a book about magic. Sushi and a sushi. Oh, no, that's fine. I mean, I ordered, you know, I, I just ordered like a breakfast taco and iced coffee. So I'm also being lazy, but it's okay. I had to sleep times. 
Dude, we've come to find a book about magic. M -m magic I should have known. That is, I, uh, never mind. Do we? Do you know when they came here last time? Well, if it's magic that you're interested in, then I might suggest the Grand Grimoire? Mm, the Grand Grimoire, you say? We'd like to borrow that book if we may. Well, you'll need Miss Mystere's permission. Are you sure you want to borrow it? <gasps> Mystere, just like the village Mystere that was curious. <gasps> A throwback. Well, I mean, she's in bed, but who knows how long it'll take to actually go to sleep. Not that... I'd rather if she got to sleep quickly, but, you know. Absolutely! We're very interested in magic. Hmm, friends of a spe uh, spell is interested in magic, so these two must also be... Uh, uh, whoops, no! I'm losing them! Silence! Oh, it's a hello. Riddell... That's not the... Uh, whoops. Yeah. Try to get, yeah, everybody try to sleep. Except for me. That would be bad if I fell asleep on street. Angry gothic librarian? Apparently. Yeah. Silence in the library. Okay. I, well, Dewey, first off, I need to look for them dang old coins. Coin! There's a lot of them in those flags. It's the moon and the sun. One more coin. Any news about Anna? Is she feeling okay? She She's hanging in. I talked with her a little bit the other day. Um, I think it's just going to take a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit of time for her to really come to terms with everything. Uh, I don't know. She might be... It's Saturday. I'm surprised she's not here, actually, but she might just be playing games. The Great Archive was founded for those in the noble pursuit of knowledge. I mean, you guys can always shoot her a, a message, too. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't mind. I just... I haven't said anything to her yet today. Uh, I talked to her a little bit yesterday. Literally just woke up. Well, welcome to the world of the living, Chica. Yeah. I must ask that you be a little quieter, please. Dewey, as a budding librarian, I would have thought that you would have known better. I'm sorry, Miss Mystere, uh, but these people say they want to borrow the Grand Grimoire. Did you say the Grand Grimoire? <laughs> You're... Espella Cantabella. You of all people must know the significance of the Grand Grimoire. It is an important piece of literature which can only be viewed by learned persons of significant status. It's not like I can just give my permission to whoever asks for it, you know. I, I understand that, but this man... I'm sorry, but rules cannot be changed. The request is all mine. That book could prove indispensable for my investigations into magic. And you are? Excuse me, but may I ask your name? I'm Herschel Layton. I'm investigating this town. You could say I'm a traveler, to, so to speak. A traveler? I'm afraid I have never come across such a profession. Well, I suppose we can return to that later. My name is Riddle Mystere. Oh, you're Mystere. Okay. I am a librarian as well as a curator of the Great Archive. And I am re therefore responsible for all pieces of work here, including the Grand Grimoire. Ah, sorry, my eyes being funky. I'm afraid that no matter what your profession or who you are, it is beyond my authority to lend you the Grand Grimoire. It is simply against the rules. Um, the rules? Can't you make an exception for us? Luke, please leave this to me. I can understand that you are unable to show this book to just anyone. However, as you yourself just said a moment ago, the Great Archive was founded for those in the noble pursuit of knowledge. And I am currently very much in the pursuit of knowledge regarding magic. Perhaps you would consider letting me at least peruse the Grand Grimoire. Only learned persons of significant status, and in particular inquisitors, are permitted to refer to the Grand Grimoire. Inquisitors?
Where? Oh, okay. Whew. Those who administer justice to this town. Knights of Wisdom, as they are known. Only somebody with equal status to that of an Inquisitor or with the same level of wisdom would qualify. Oh, come on. This is Leighton. His wisdom is through the freaking roof. So if I could demonstrate the required level of wisdom, then I would qualify. You certainly are a persistent gentleman. Very well. Let's see what you make of a trial. The trial has this trial has been used in the past to test the ability of aspiring inquisitors. If you are able to clear this trial, then I will acknowledge that your wisdom matches that of an inquisitor. If you can achieve this, then as curator of the Great Archive, I will lend you that book. Splendid, then by all means, do begin. You certainly have some confidence. Let's see if you can live up to it. Do you think you can pass this trial? At which so many hopefuls have stumbled? You know not who you speak to, woman. See what you can do with this! Uh, puzzle 16. 20 picarats. Oh, that's not even a hard puzzle. Make your way through the maze of strange clocks to the goal. You can only move in the direction of the clock hands. With each step you take, the clock hands will rotate 90 degrees, so take care. Okay, yep. Pay attention to the direction of the clock hands and find your ways through- yeah. I can't go down, because I think- well, can I? Okay, I can, as long as the clock hand's going that way. <laughs> what kind of wisdom test was that? To show you my puzzle-solving skills. Not a very good one. You should expect no less from a gentleman. From a gentleman, yeah, that's me. I'm the gentleman. I'm the gentleman now. You've proven that time truly doesn't stop for anyone. Exactly. <laughs> How can this be? That hardly seemed a challenge for you. Who are you, and how did you do that so effortlessly? I, I just realized that her hairpins are books, and I love it. More importantly than who I am, there is one thing of which I am certain, and that is that every puzzle has an answer. So do I qualify? Huh. Not so fast. Do you really believe that my permission can be obtained as easily as that? Uh, that was no more than a... a, a preliminary trial. Uh, to separate the wheat from the chaff. Now for the real trial, even a man of your caliber should find this challenging. This trial will have your eyes rolling and your head spinning. Hmm? Miss Mystere, I've never seen you get this excited. S silence. Be quiet, Dewey. Sorry. I assume it's safe to predict that this will be not be not be quite so simple. Hmm. <laughs> this will put an end to that overconfidence. Prepare to lose your mind in this mind-bending puzzle. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes then. It's another one. Oh, come on. Out of time. Oh, this one's 40 Picarats. Um. What? What? Excuse me. Make your way to the maze of strange clocks in the goal. However, note that the clock hands on the purple clocks appear to rotate at three times the speed of regular clocks. Better watch your step. What? Okay. Before I forget, I must warn you. You no longer have the luxury of undoing a move. One teeny tiny miscalculation, and it's game over. I do hope you don't mind. Um, I do mind. I can't undo, but I can restart.
Ah. Hey, shut up. Okay, restart. Okay, at least it doesn't take my picker rats. Okay, so I have to go to the right here. Shit. Okay, so that's not that's a no go. I go down, I can't, that's gonna go to the right, so I have to go over here. I go down, okay, I gotta go here. Your son just came in? Hello, son! <laughs> this is hard, this is way harder. Wow, yeah, and leather armor is pretty bad, it's true. I don't play a lot of Minecraft, but I do know that. What if I go backwards? <gasps> Did I just solve this puzzle? No, I'm going in a circle. <laughs> Wait, never mind. If I go down, it's gonna... No, I have to go this way. But then I'm gonna be in the same predicament. What the f... This is rough. Okay. This is a lot harder. It all starts with the first step. Take the first step and have a look at the board. Moving downward does not seem to be an option. That leaves only one direction. Okay, cool. Let me get another hint there. Remember, purple clocks spin faster than normal. Three times faster, to be exact. That means the minute... Yeah. Now it's just a matter of calculating the clock's movements as you proceed. I'm, I, I'm already on that. From the start, continue right five spaces and then down one space. Then move left on empty space. Wait, 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 wait. You can... You can move on the empty spaces? Did they? Nobody told me I could go on the empty spaces. It's not cheating. It's hints. Because I didn't think I could go on the empty spaces. I did it! Okay. Let's yeah, well, I nobody told me I couldn't, but still, I just ass I'm sorry, I assume. I gotta remember, this game punishes you for thinking. Yeah, well, now I know. It's okay. I've only That's like the only puzzle I've used hint coins on. That last minute cha change of the rules of the maze was clearly not enough to catch you out. Thanks. Ba -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, remember, it makes you an ass out of you and me. Sorry, I turned all of you into asses. <laughs> How? My mind-bending puzzle, you didn't lose your mind. On the contrary, you found the solution. It's... that's... just impossible! Oh, my glasses! My... my book! Don't look! Don't look at me! Oh, you're an awful lot like, um, that one guy. Uh, flinch. My glasses, let me put them on. Just a moment. Did I use hints with the marionettes? No, I, I don't think so. I just did it a bunch of times. I, I just had to, like, repeat it three times before I got it right. Yeah, it didn't catch us out. <laughs> 
That's better. I apologize. For a moment there, I lost my composure. But to see my trial cleared like that, it seems I underestimated you, sir. It was a fascinating puzzle. No more than I'd expect from the curator of the Great Archive. Oh my god! Layton, are you trying to get into the book? Or her pants? <laughs> Wait, what if her book... What if her pants are the Great Grimoire? I find your confidence rather disconcerting. I hope someday to have the pleasure of showing you a puzzle that'll make those little round eyes of yours spin in your head. But nevertheless, a promise is a promise. I hereby grant you your permission. The special viewing room containing the Grand Grimoire is located on the first floor. As I'm sure you're already aware, that book is of unparalleled importance. Why are we booing? By no means may it be treated with anything but the utmost care. Of course, Miss Mystere. Thank you for granting me permission. Well then, shall we proceed to the special viewing room? I shall have to accompany you since the room is locked. You did it, Professor! You cleared both trials in one fell swoop! That was amazing, Mr. Layton. It's well known that Miss Mystere is an avid collector of puzzles, and I've heard that the puzzles she presents are always very difficult to solve. I see, so there are collectors of puzzles in this place, too. Yeah, well, maybe. So open them up to me, baby, I guess. I don't know. What do you mean? Oh, nothing important. Right, then no use in waiting around. Let's go and take a look at the Grand Grimoire. Right you are, Professor! I mean, come on, the way she reacted when he solved her puzzles, she was like, oh no! Oh no. I think I love this man now. I think I already I already got all the hint coins here. Yeah, I remember. Let's go there. Hi. Hmm. This is the special viewing room. I mean, I had to go in the special viewing room as well. The connotations are there. This, yeah. I'm sure that gentlemen such as yourself will understand, but seeing as this is a special room not open to the general public, I must insist that you all be on your best behavior. Okay, Luke, you stay outside. Wow, this room feels so grand and elegant. My first time in here, too. I must admit, I feel a little nervous. It certainly does give some indication of the importance of the book being kept in here. That book in the center must be the Grand Grimoire. Okay, well, first things first. Ink coins? Ink coin. Oh. The road to 69 continues. Ink coin. It's okay. Sometimes you just make sure to lick your finger before you open the book. Spread the pages. You gotta make sure that you can open it good. Yeah, my 69 hint coins. Actually, you know, I don't think I ever really licked my finger to open a book. I was able to just kind of do it. Especially now. Well, not that a bunch of people touch my books. I'm the only one that touches my books. But, like, public books, I'm like, man. Who knows who, how many people have touched this. 66. Eating an apple? Oh, apples are good. I've had to separate. Oh, yeah, where you're like, it just won't come undone. This is incredible! It's crammed with information about magic! People say it's the magic used by witches. If that's so, then the magic we saw in London must be in here somewhere, too. That may be well be true, Luke. A tome as thick as this must surely contain such information. Finding it is a bit daunting, though. Hmm? What's this? Professor, this page is different from the others. You miss books? Books are good. You can't see, but I have a bookshelf behind me full of books. Well, there's a lot of manga in there, but there's also book books. What is this? This page isn't about magic at all. Something about it makes me feel uneasy. Luke, this page, it appears to be addressed to someone, don't you think? Oh, you mean like a message? Let's read it, Professor. Maybe it's a message to us. From a long time ago. The ancient flame has been locked in an infinite vault of books, waiting for the awakening. That is pretty cool, actually. 
When the sun and moon watching over the sage swap places to show their true form, the door to the past will open. I do really like buying books from half price and them having like the library like stamp in there before they, I guess, gave them to half price and seeing how many previous people own the book. Once a person of what? Perpicacity? Um, perpicacity? Perpica? What? How do you? Uh, what is that even word? Perspicacity. I'm looking that up. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe that has to do with perspective. The quality of having ready insight into things. Shrewdness. Perspicacity. 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 Noun. The quality of having a ready insight into things. Shrewdness. We all learned something today. They could have said cleverness, but they went with perspicacity. <laughs> anyway, we learned words. like it big words isn't that mildew well i mean if it's like really musty yes but i mean just the smell of like older paper and stuff like i like yellowed books the door will be open until then i will wait for the time of the awakening okay somebody's gonna wake up they're getting the power of waking is this kingdom hearts 3 what what is this how could this be? Why is this in here? How did something like this get into the Grand Grimoire? It's just not possible. I can't understand it. No one entered this special viewing room before you came here. And whenever somebody enters this room, I always accompany them in this way. So it means that the page must have changed at some point, doesn't it? Hmm. Could that really be possible? Perhaps with some kind of device? Or with magic. Unthinkable! There is only one key to this room, so no one can enter it without being granted my permission. I assure you it's true on my honor as a curator. But then how can anyone have done this? Luke, I believe we both know who might be capable of such an act. Eh? You mean witches, don't you? W witches Hmm. We don't know yet who changed that page. But the most more important matter is what's written here. The infinite vault of books mentioned here presumably refers to the Great Archive, which implies there is a secret of some sort hidden within the library. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Professor, what about this part? A person of pers- persp- Perspicacity. That. Wow, Luke, I was also struggling on that dumb word. No, no, I feel. Well, it's fine. I mean, knowledge is power. Well, I believe that could be referring to Carmine. He came here regularly to investigate. So it's certainly somewhat likely, which means our next objective is to find the answer that he was looking for. It's a bit of a spooky message. But if we can open this door to the past, then we'll surely be one step closer to solving mystery. Just a moment, please. I'm the curator here, and I won't be allowing you to investigate anything without my permission. S so you mean you can't investigate? Not at all. I'm simply insisting that you allow me to accompany you. There should be no doors in this library that I don't know about. And even if there is something hidden somewhere, as suggested by the message, it is my duty as a curator to know what it is. I completely understand, Miss Mystere. We can only benefit from your presence. Now then, how about we all make our way back to the entrance? Let's think about where this door could be from there. But Professor, supposing there is a door, that message is, is such a puzzle in itself. Don't you think it'll be difficult to find? 
You may be right, and this library is so large. Finding anything will surely take a good deal of our time. No, I think not. You're both missing something here. I believe I may well know what is meant by the words in this message. Hmm? Really, Professor? Yes, if you'll just remember the wording. From a long time ago, the ancient flame has been locked in an infinite vault of books waiting for the awakening. Yes. When the sun and the moon watching over the sage swap places to show their true form, the door to the past will open. Oh, okay. It's a puzzle! Yeah, once a person of perspicacity. Yes, it is a good smell. Move back to Florida after your masters, even though you want to go back to New England? Oh, yeah? Until then, I wait for the time of the awakening. <laughs> you want your plants to, to live? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, I will be right back, because I think um, my food is getting dropped off, so... I always feel so bad because I tell them to drop it off. Um, like, just drop it off at the front door and not to knock because we have dogs and they get really annoyingly loud. You have your Poke Bowl? Ah, Poke Bowl's delicious. You just got vanilla? Oh, nice! Vanilla's good. You grow more herbs and things. Like, I like wasabi, but only if it's, like, a little bit in the soy sauce. Like, you know how they mix it for sushi and dipping and stuff? Oh, that is really good. If you'll both take a look around this room, you'll notice we are surrounded by books. Really? I love poke. Like, I, there's a poke bowl place here, and they put so much stuff in them, and they're fantastic. You like your tunic hand? <laughs> I noticed that. Probably nowhere else in this library with more books than there are right here. So the sun is there, the moon is there. There are books extending all the way up. We're completely surrounded by them. And the key to opening this door is in the sun and moon watching over the sage. Great order. Sorry, I need to rate up. She was really nice. I just, I always feel bad when I meet them at the door because I try to wait. Because I know we're still trying, you know, maintain some social distance and stuff. And she was also wearing a mask, so. I always, I'm always like, sorry, I'm just going to grab this, go back inside. So technically, it would be freshly caught. I mean, this is true. It's kind of a workaround, but... But what could that mean? There's no window, so no light can come in from the sun or the moon. Precisely, which means that it is not the real sun and moon that are being referred to here. And they are located where they can watch over the sage. Oh man, one the one time I get like a jack-in-the-box bag and it's not just totally like grease covered. You can thank them for that. I mean, this is true. I wouldn't mind getting one of those, but I'm like, for this place, nah. If I get my own place later, I might put a ring camera on it. 
They can watch over the sage. In other words, behind. They even have ones that you can switch out the, um... That they're literally just like the, the peephole on a door. So if I get a, a place, I'd probably get something like that where I could just unscrew that and stick that on there. No kidding where they can watch over the sage. In other words, behind. Perhaps you already realized to whom the sage is referring. Right then, let's find the sun and moon watching over the sage and open the door. Okay, let's zoom in on there. You like the doorbell one? Then they can see your front door. Wait, what? Oh, that. Yeah. I don't worry too much about it. I mean, a lot of people are worried about, like, Google and all that having too much information, but it's like... Most companies already have most of our information via Facebook or Instagram or anything else. So, you know, I'm just kind of like, it could always be much worse. And I mean, honestly, if people want to go through that much trouble to check out my stuff, they'll realize soon enough that I have, like, nothing really worth their time. Like, it's just, you know. Hmm. Pretty much. Like, even my mom was kind of wary about, like, Alexa and Google and all that, but... Like, she loves it now because it makes things just really convenient. It's just a meat lover's breakfast burrito from Jack in the Box. My usual go-to greasy food place because it's also really cheap for the amount of food you get. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, probably not. I only bought the one. <laughs> I mean, I was hungry, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. so much grease also sorry to everybody on youtube who's just watching me eat for this you can probably skip the next 10 minutes and get back to whatever and anna's not here but as she would say get better Emo to YouTube. You suck. Grubs. Hey, we're not the only people that sue companies. We do tend to sue them for a lot of different reasons, some of which don't make sense. gotten money for like lawsuits before that I didn't really participate in but I owned a product that was in that lawsuit but it I never got a lot of money from it Uh, 
Okay, now it's getting like super greasy at the bottom. Please, for the love of God, let me put that in the bag. <laughs> ah, falling apart. There's actually a nice breeze here today when I um went out. Oh! Sorry, I got grease on my fingers. Ah! Uh. Thankfully, they gave me a handful of napkins. <laughs> well, I'm not offended. <clears throat> People like different things. Sometimes you just need shitty, greasy food. Oh, okay, you're talking about the poke. Well, I know you're also... <clears throat> Could have both, yeah. Well, it's okay. I said ew to canned tuna, and you took a lot of offense to that. But I'm just not a fan of canned tuna. Like, I will eat it, but it is definitely not my first choice. Tuna, tuna sweet corn? What the hell is tuna sweet corn? Okay, thank you, everyone, for being patient while I ate a rather large, greasy breakfast burrito. <sighs> now it's time for more puzzles. Ah, what's that? I don't know, maybe the sun and moon, bro. It's the sun and moon construction. Oh! So the sage must be... Well, that's right, the sage of this library refers to the curator. And this sun and moon construct is located right behind her seat. <clears throat> so that's what the sun and moon watching over the sage was referring to. And when the sun and moon swap places, their true form will be shown. And the door to the past will open, so all we need to do is work out what that means. But what does it mean by their true form? Hmm, well, if we interpret it at face value, it would suggest that we're currently seeing their untrue form. Hmm? Have a look at this. There seems to be some sort of mechanism in place. Ah, oh, Professor! If you look closely, there seems to be a puzzle hidden there. Puzzle! <coughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Puzzle is worth 30. There are two tiles on each side within the image of the sun and the moon. Maneuver the tiles so that the sun and moon swap sides. <laughs> Oh no, it's one of these. Well, <clears throat> actually, that's not bad. Think <laughs> 55. It's probably going to be like, you could have done that in as few as five moves. Did you, fucker? Let's see if I've proven myself. Puzzle! Oh, joy of solving puzzles. Hmm. 
The mysterious library puzzle is solved, but just what will happen next? <clears throat> oh! oh. <clears throat> what do you mean, why are the characters so basic? Are you talking about Leighton? That's just how Leighton's drawn. He's like super... Like, you saw me play Professor Leighton. All of those characters are pretty... They're not super detailed. <clears throat> ah, Professor, there's a stairway. Who would have thought there could be anything like this hidden here? Like, Espella is more like in the actual Phoenix Wright like art style, whereas they're in Leighton art style. The ancient flame has been locked in an infinite vault of books. Wonder just what we'll find down there. <clears throat> uh, an entrance to a basement below the Great Archive? Am I right in thinking that you knew nothing of this stairway's existence? <sighs> yeah, that's why this because this is a crossover game. That's right. And is and if I, as the curator, knew nothing of it, then surely no one else could. It's hard to believe that a secret such as this could have been hidden here all this time. I've been playing this game for like seven fucking hours, and you guys just now come up with that? Yeah, it's it's that's why it's Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. All of like the really simple characters are from Layton, because that's a focus on the puzzles. I mean, Layton doesn't even have eyes. Look at him. He's got little beady eyes, but he's a gentleman. <clears throat> yeah, stash and scarf. And it's literally a guy <laughs> with a mustache and a scarf. Who could have possibly left such a message? Hmm. Hmm, it might be wise not to let anyone see what has been revealed here. I agree. I'll be back as soon as I've asked the other visitors to leave the building. Okay. Well then, are you both ready? You betcha! Let's go, Professor! You too, Espella! Okay then, Luke. <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Is the man- Yeah, well, it's because he's an archaeologist and an expert puzzle solver. <clears throat> so he knows about puzzles. He's very puzzle-oriented. But yeah, I mean, he's also, his specialty is archaeology, so. No, he's good at math, because these puzzles involve math. Professor Layton is a gentleman, and he's good at everything. <clears throat> this place appears to be some sort of historic site. It's amazing to think a place like this could exist under the library. I wonder when it dates from. Hmm. Ah, this, that mural. It can't be. No, it is. It's the Great Fire. Is that a dragon? That's a straight-up dragon. Man, this place is... Hmm, this place looks a little beat up. Can't quite... <clears throat> oh, we're so close I can taste it. Where's that 69? Ha ha! Nice. <sighs> yeah, I don't... I'm not... I like math, but I don't like math puzzles. Because usually they don't, they're not always the most logical things. This wall painting is a bit scary, isn't it? A monster attacking a burning town. There's also a woman hurling fire. I suppose she must be a witch? That woman is the Great Witch. Miss Mystere? <clears throat> but why, Chica? You're already super sweet. This certainly doesn't bode well, a painting of the Great Witch here. Do you know anything about the witch in this painting? Oh, glasses. You don't know of the Great Witch? How can that be possible for a man of your learning? Well, that's, uh... Never mind, I'm sure you have your reasons. <laughs> I don't wish to pry. I appreciate that. Would you mind perhaps telling us a bit about this witch? See? Yeah, but first they're sour, then they're sweet. Well, I guess the sweetness depends on how much pineapple you eat. Or maybe that's just the one, the one side. Like a red one. 
Wait, uh, why? Why a red one? Is there something special about the red one? <clears throat> oh, yeah, true. The woman in this painting is the great witch Bazella. In this painting depicts the infamous legendary fire that she caused. The legendary fire? <clears throat> she is the witch in charge of all witches whose very existence poses the greatest threat known to Labyrinthia. The great witch Bazella cannot be considered the same as other witches. She is the root of all Labyrinthia's woes. Hmm. The great witch Bazella. <clears throat> what do you mean by the root of all Labyrinthia's woes? It's still delicious. And the boom, you have a cavity? Aw, dang. Lies in the very existence of the great witch Bazella. Would you mind elaborating? The great witch Bazella is the source of all the other witches. As long as she exists, there will be no end to other witches. This is sweet to give it a oh wow. Dang. The great Witch Bazella is with us. The townspeople will forever live in fear under the shadow of witches. So you mean if there were no great witch, there would be peace? No great witch? That's easy enough to say. But while all of the knights have been searching for Bazella, nobody has ever been able to find her. There are very few clues, and no one has ever seen her in person. Nevertheless, the great witch Bazella is undoubtedly present in Labyrinthia. How can you be so certain? Because her deep claw marks can still be seen throughout the town. Claw marks? <clears throat> you should get coffee. The coffee would probably tone down your sweetness a little bit, so you don't give us cavities. You must have seen them, too, the traces of that fire when you entered this library. Ah, yes. There was a part of this building that had suffered noticeable damage. Bazella is a fearful witch who has all other witches doing her bidding. Long ago, this town was reduced to ashes as a result of her fiery magic. Oh, dang. Well, I mean... Sometimes yet, what if we're constipated? You need relief from that. Anyway, <laughs> this is taking a weird turn. Reduced to ashes? It must have been, let me see, a hundred or so years ago. It was on the evening of the fire festival held every year in honor of the great witch Bazella. The great witch's fury was unleashed without warning as the entire town burned. That's terrible. That was the legendary fire. Every person in this town knows about it. The legendary fire. We've only said it ten times now, Leighton. <clears throat> the rebuilding of the town was a long and arduous process. And all the while, Bazella must have been watching and laughing from the shadows. That's awful! Even now, the legend of long ago continues to cause real suffering amongst the townsfolk. To think that a painting of that fearful witch could be right here in the basement of my beloved library! What is it doing here of all places? There's nothing for it. I'll just have to have this room sealed shut. Please, let's keep the existence of this room strictly between ourselves. <clears throat> for the good of the people. As for me, I shall do my best to forget all about this hidden room. I'm afraid I'd rather not remain here a minute longer. It's time I started closing up the library for the day. Wait, can I examine, like, those things first? I can't help but feel we've done something wrong. Luke, do you recall the words towards the end of that message? Do you mean until then I will wait? That's right. We opened this door, or rather, when we were guided towards opening this door. <clears throat> I could sense someone else's will at work. 
It's almost as if our following Carmine and coming to this library had all been planned out in advance. Surely you don't mean that we were beckoned here by the great witch Bazella? Well, you know, we all need release from something sometimes, right? Bazella? <clears throat> oh, cutscene. Get chocolate then, Chica. Is something the matter? <gasps> Are you feeling all right, Espella? Yes, I'm fine, really. I bet she's the great witch. Is it like brownies or something, or? <clears throat> uh, um, a speller? Uh, I, uh, yes? What is it? It's just that, well, you've been so quiet. Yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It's just that this room. This room brings back bad memories, Seer. It's a of course she's making weird noises. Don't you think? The atmosphere is a bit sinister, not to mention that scary picture. Maybe it's about time we made a move from here? Yes, indeed. <clears throat> yes, indeed. But I wanted to look at stuff. Mmm. Those words at the end of the message. I will wait. What if we weren't meant to be the ones being called here? Wow, rude! Leave Leighton alone! He's a gentleman! <clears throat> oh! We figured out the mystery of Carmine. Who would have thought that the secret Carmine was after was the mural of the Great Witch Bazella under the library? Yeah, I know. Leave him alone, he's very good at solving puzzles. Oh, it's much more relaxing here, isn't it? It felt so intense and claustrophobic down there. Yes, it certainly did. Today has been full of surprises. Not only did I meet up with you two again, we also found that mural in the library. It seems that this town really does hold a mysterious secret, doesn't it? Wow, no, that's not a puzzle. It's just how his face is. Solve the puzzle of why you're so mean to Professor Layton. Show your work. What shall we do now? Hmm, I'd certainly like to learn more about this magic. We've been in here for quite some time. Must be getting late. Probably best if we wind up our investigating for today and take a rest. You must both be feeling tired. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'd be happy to do a little more investigating with you two. But I have an errand to run before it gets too late. I'm still up for investigating further. Whatever the puzzle, I'm ready to solve it. You're feeling tired? Oh, you're starting to get tired. Ah, ah, Luke, I could hear your tummy rumbling just now. Well, I can't pretend I'm not a little hungry. You haven't arranged accommodations yet. Why don't you both stay at the bakery? There's a room free, so I'm sure it'd be all right. And Miss Eclair would love to have you. What do you say? Well, if you put it like that, then we'd be delighted to stay. Thank you, Espella. And there's all that delicious bread, too! I'm looking forward to it already! Uh, Professor Layton, do you have to be going? Yes, yeah, sorry for all the trouble we put you to. Not at all, although I still can't get used to there being a secret room under the library. It's been a while since I last met someone capable of solving my puzzles. I'm in love with you! Yeah, wow. Show us on the doll where Professor Layton hurt you. Was it like a past boyfriend? Did he have Animal Crossing-esque features, and now you have hatred towards all Animal Crossing-esque features? Like, every time I look at his tiny, beady eyes, I'm reminded of him. No. And as I promised, you have my permission to borrow the Grand Grimoire. Now you keep getting stung. Oh, uh, well, stop getting stung by bees, then. <clears throat> Have you tried not getting stung by bees? Sorry, I pulled a zunder there. And as I promised, yeah. 
If you have any need for it in the future, please do drop by and let me know. Thank you very much, Miss Mystere. It's been a pleasure. Oh, there's just one more thing. I have all of Labyrinthia's puzzles stored here in this library. As you continue with your investigations here in Labyrinthia, there will likely be puzzles that you cannot solve or which you do not find. Such puzzles will come to me. Oh, she's she's like Granny Riddleton, but she's hot. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> Such puzzles, yeah. Anytime you wish to solve puzzles, just visit me and I'll show them to you. Puzzles that we cannot solve or do not find, you say? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> puzzles I can't solve? Boulder Dash! And I look forward to seeing you again. I'll be waiting. Please take care on your way home. It's already become dark out there. And if I remember rightly, the storyteller's latest story did mention the evening... You take care, too. Until we meet again, Miss Mystere. <clears throat> Defended. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, it's already this dark out here. I didn't realize we were in here so long. It looks as if it must have been raining up until a moment ago. The ground is still wet. Yes. Yes, and that reminds me of what Miss Eclair was saying before we left. She said you might want to hurry. It looks like it might rain any time now. Let's get a move on. You too, Espella. Hey, where is she? That's strange. She's not here. Your pet, do you have a goldfish? What? <laughs> Lemons are pretty good. That just reminds me of when my uh, nephew was an infant and my sister gave him a wedge of lemon and he kept like trying it and then like making a horrible scrunch face and then he'd keep trying it. And he did that for like five minutes straight and I was like, man, babies. <clears throat> I wonder where she could have gone. Perhaps she's still in the great archive or maybe she's secretly the witch. Um, Dewey, what are you doing with the books outside? Oh, lemon tarts are good. Slowly does it, step by step. Oh, are you two still here? Can you let me through? I have to lock up. Hello, Dewey. Have you seen Espella? If you're looking for Espella, she left while you were still talking to Miss Mystere. Yeah, I wonder why. She said something about having to buy some milk, even though it was still raining. Ah, uh, yes, I do remember Miss Eclair asking for her to get some milk from the bakery. It was raining, you said. Yes, it started raining about the time you all went down to that library basement. When Espella left just now, it did look as if the rain was about to stop. Ah, yes, she left a message for you. She said to go back without her. But she didn't have to go alone, especially in the dark. She'll be fine. If it's only milk she needs, then she can get it at the market. It's not far, so she should be back soon. If anything, I'd be more worried about you two being the ones in danger. You know, in the story, it said there were two companions. If your work here is finished, then I suggest you both go home. I don't want to get caught up in anything. Wow, Dewey. Fucking piece of shit. Luke, why don't we head back to the bakery and wait for a spell of here? I suppose so. I guess she'll be all right, right? <clears throat> The there. Professor, I smell freshly baked bread. I wonder if that could be Miss Eclair's work. Let's go inside. Mm, yes, we could, although we could also take a walk around the town at night. Layton, are you trying to do the book thing? If there's nothing else you'd particularly like to see, perhaps we should head back in. Oh, well, wait, let's talk to this puzzle. Oh. Evening, gents. Isn't Espella with you? Do you know Espella? Do I know her? There isn't a person in this town who doesn't know Espella. I didn't realize she was so famous. I've known some ignorant people, but you two really do take the biscuit. Don't make me kill you, you little punk. If you knew her better, then I doubt you'd be spending so much time with her. What's that supposed to mean? Espella's a lovely person. I don't know how you could say that. Personally, I don't enjoy talking about her in that way either. 
Yeah, you better not or I'll punch you. Oh. Uh... <clears throat> So there's no hidden puzzles. Well, let's check out here. Hello, damsel? Puzzle! Whoa, what's wrong with you? Cinderella. I wonder who that's supposed to be. I wonder who that's supposed to be. Well, they were one letter off from getting a lawsuit from that mouse. Francesca, Anna, Lillian, my dear friends, I am ever so sad. Soon the four of us will be forced to part ways. How did your hair just go flaccid? Hmm? This is the pawnbroker's shop, isn't it? What seems to be the matter? Ah! Oh my, is that concern in your voice? Oh, gentle sir. If you have but a moment, allow me to explain my ever so woesome woe. The family coffers are not brimming with coin as they once were, I'm afraid. So I've come to sell my ever so dearest friend. Sell your friends? Indeed, and lifelong friends of that. Oh, indeed, gentle sir. However, my friends are ever so picky about where they stay. Pray, would you be able to put them into their proper rooms? <clears throat> you got you froze your cook. Yay, cookies! Puzzle twenty-two: Dollhouse Drama. A set of very stubborn dolls has requested help in assigning each of them a room. Touch Ask to find out each of the dolls' criteria for the perfect room, and then place them in the rooms based on what they say. Remember that each doll speaks for its entire color set. Oh boy. <clears throat> I really want a room on the top floor. I want rooms in the same row across or top. No way am I staying in a room next to A. Fuck that bitch. Well, shit. Oh, uh, I, I, sorry. How do I... Oh. Okay, B is here, but they don't want to be next to C. What is happening? I am so confused. Ask D. Be nice if B had room below mine. Okay, so A A A A A. C doesn't want it to be anywhere near A, so They want to be below B, B below D. What is, I am, I, okay. So, okay, they're in the same color room. I don't know, because she's rude. Okay, a D, B, B. Okay. Be nice if B had one below mine. Okay, so A and C can't be next to each other. Nope, they're next to each other right now. What? When did I call you rude? I didn't call you rude. I kept saying you're sweet. You're the one who keeps saying that you're you're a sour patch kid. Is it? I don't know. Well, oh yeah, that that was rude though. But that's just because you're you're being sis. It does do some static. I don't know why it's doing some static. Let's see. Settings. Advanced audio settings. Nate popping. Okay, maybe that'll help a little bit. Cause it's like, eh. I mean, unless it's just like too loud, but. Then people are like, this is the perfect loudness. And I'm like, I don't know, is it too loud? What do you mean? I didn't change my storyline. I would never do anything like that. Fucking bitch, get away from A. Get away from A. I'll kill you. How do you get C away from A? Okay, yeah, you don't want to be next to. Is that the same as up or down? 
Yeah, it was Major Sol. Yeah, it is a crossover. It, this is a crossover. What the fuck? But B needs to be below D. That, okay. A, C. That doesn't help at all. Shit, they're still up. Is there? They're right next to each other still. What the fuck? I hate this. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's still. God, I fucking hate this. Only a matter of listening to the request and making sure it is properly fulfilled in the upper screen. Look at the initial position of the dolls in the dollhouse. See, you see, the dolls are not pleased with their locations. Finding out which dolls are unhappy from the start. Oh. Okay. Yes, please. The D. Only in last sex joke. Wait, why would it be the only in last? Please. I mean, I was making way too many earlier. I was talking about book lover lady. Okay, so... A and C are next to each other. So we need to swap it so that they're not. So B is already below D. But if we swap A and C, it's not going to make a difference. What do I swap A and B? Nope, you're right next to it. So maybe this, if that's uh, above is not next to, so it would be okay, I guess? Tell them to sleep outside? I wish I could do that. <clears throat> a wants to be have a room on the top floor. Wait, you think it's D, A, B, C? No, because then A is next to... I don't know, it might be D, B, C, A. Wait. I want rooms on the same rows across or up. Okay. So that's right, then. And then... I think this is right. Oh, and if this isn't right, I'm gonna scream. No! He made the face! Fuck you, puzzle! Fuck your stupid bullshit! Dull bullshit! The fuck? I hate this! Ah! No, because if I do yours, D-A... Because uh, then they're still next to each other, and A and C cannot be next to each other. According to them. It doesn't say anything about, like, up or down. Wait, wait. D-B-A-C? No way am I staying in a room next to A. It'd be nice if B had rooms below mine. There's only, like, one, though. A is red, C is blue. Are you sure? But then they, this would have to be swapped. B is above, like... A, C, B, D... <laughs> I hate this so fucking much. Like, I, I, it can be solved in one single step. Of all the four colors of dolls, only one needs to be changed. So I guess if it was this, well, let's try this. It says only one this step. Okay. Oh God. Fuck you. Your stupid you dolls. Your bullshit. No, I can't be next to. Oh God, I hate the fucking context of some of these. No, I get it. The dolls you were referring to are your friends. Oh, thank you, gentle sirs. With my friends all in their place, I'm sure to get over. Get ever such a fair price, and I'm sure they will be ever so happy in their new homes. Fuck those dolls! Wait, did we do that for your friends or for the price? Tell me, Mr. Pawnbroker, will you take ever such good care of my friends now? Madam, I realize you have brought me your friends a long way to visit me, but I'm afraid a doll's house like this is uh, a little out of my line. Ah. Uh, okay, okay, you you win. I'll take them off your hands. She was about to fucking murder that man. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you ever so much, Mr. Pawnbroker. She might be laughing, but I could certainly sense the tension in that transaction. 
A haughty laugh of authority, perhaps. Well. Okay, well, there's that puzzle. Yeah, she's crazy. Let's search the town square. Uh, nobody here. Let's search that area. <clears throat> Ooh, the torch is lit. Damn, it's lit. Wait, is that door open? Oh, the lights are on. Okay. There's some tension, but we're not even playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, with our boys Edgeworth and Phoenix Wright. And a pants load of tension. I bladder you. Yeah, okay, go pee. Yeah. Oh! Bardley! Hey, Professor, the minstrel is singing a song again. I believe you're right, Luke. Let's go and listen, but while taking care not to disturb him. In the crowd, they thronged in the afternoon sun. The story was told and the creator was done. Oh, what a tale! The story is so fearful! Oh, what confusion! No one was cheerful. Oh, this Bardley Bard named Bardley must tell you without fail, as it, as it is his duty, to relate to you this tale. In the darkness of the night when the sun has gone down, the shadow of the witch shall appear, and the unfortunate couple walking in the darkness shall come unerringly to the witch. In bathed in the witch's fire, their lives will be consumed by her flames. Oh, I... Oh, the, to the story you're here today is terrible, I have to say. Yeah, it does. Anastasia. Yeah, I haven't seen Anastasia in forever. Okay, well, I thought there was going to be a puzzle, but instead he just was... Oh, it was kind of depressing. Did I check North Parade Avenue? Uh, I might have. There's nobody here. I think he already said he was locking up, so there's no getting back in there. Okay, let's go back to the inn. Welcome back, Sir. I hope you had a good pee. Good. Whoa! Look at all that food! I always freeze cookies for sudden sweet tooths. I should be better at that, because they do... It's a bit better, because if you leave them for a while, then obviously they're going to get kind of stale, no matter how well you pack them. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. I've prepared the evening meal already. Wow, it looks great! It's... It's... He said there was just bread, but there's definitely soup there, unless it's bread soup. Hang on, where's Suspella? I'm afraid we were separated when she went to get that milk. Has she not come back yet? What are you talking about? Do Well, no, I am a gentleman, but no. You do ask that because you need to show concern for everyone everywhere. Oh dear, maybe I was asking too much of her. They stay soft unless you don't make your cookies soft. Well, no, I usually make them a little soft. But only my cookies, nothing else. <laughs> I could. Nothing else that would be soft in that statement. My apologies, I should have stopped her had I the chance. It's nothing you need to worry about, Mr. Layton. That girl knows her way around. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Let's go ahead and eat while waiting for her. Yeah, no, I don't want. I don't like super hard cookies. You need to have, be a little. little Little we'll squish. I love it when we all get to eat together. Meals are so much more enjoyable that way. I've never had bread and jam that tasted this good before. I hope Espella gets back soon. Oh yeah, you guys went out to the Great Archive with her, didn't you? Did you find what you were looking for? Well, it's a bit of a mystery, really. Uh, what do you mean? In truth, we went there to investigate the mystery that is Labyrinthia. However... What we found instead was quite the puzzle. Wait, you know, I might have a late... I don't know. You see... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> a 
Anyway, let me get back to this. Oh, right, a puzzle, huh? You know, I get the impression puzzles are pretty popular in this town. Do you not know what a puzzle is, Nick? Uh, not that I know exactly. How do you not know what a puzzle is, Maya? Well, we spend our time baking. It's not really the kind of thing we're supposed to know about, I guess. Indeed, it appears the two of you are a little unsure about the concept of puzzles. Say, Mr. Layton, do you think you could give us a little Puzzles 101 crash course? I'm kind of curious. It would be my pleasure, Miss Faye. But rather than explaining in words, I believe actually trying your hand at a puzzle would be far more rewarding. I swear to God, if we get Phoenix and Maya being like, we got it, and then doing the pointy thing, I'm going to fucking make a mess in my pants. I'm not wearing pants, by the way. I'm wearing shorts. Sorry, was that too much? Where's the trials? We had a trial. We're going to have another trial soon. Here, I'll give you both a simple example to think about. It's like 70 picker rats. Now then, how, here we have two long loaves of bread placed side by side. You'll notice that they form the number 11. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Oh, yeah, I get it. Uh, the first trial was us proving Espella innocent uh, to hitting somebody in the head with a pipe. So that's what a puzzle is. Not quite, Miss Faye. The puzzle is what follows next. What I'd like you to try is, I'd like you to see if you can change this into a number lower than 11. A lower number? How about if I take one of the loaves? However, the one condition is that you must add another loaf of exactly the same type. You need to add another loaf? Even though we add a loaf, the number has to be lower. I think I'm see starting to see what you mean by puzzle. She's quite the hit. Yeah, this is true. Wait, I think I've got it. I may just be a baker, but I bet I have the right answer. If I place the extra loaf sideways like this, then one minus one equals zero. Now oh, give me a break, Nick. That's totally the letter H. We're trying to solve a puzzle here. I want a spelling bee. Oh, come on. I can't be the only one that sees one minus one. R right? Right? Turning it into a matter of arithmetic is certainly an interesting approach. What Professor Layton wants to say is like, my God, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? You, uh, you think so? Eat the bread? <laughs> you can't, we're adding bread. Most certainly, that's precisely the kind of flexible thinking you need for solving puzzles. Now, let's think again. Take a seat and leave it to this to a pro, Nick. How about this? You just take this new loaf and ta-da! She fucking did eat it! Now that's one minus one. How did you eat half a loaf of bread? Layton just said that was a large loaf. Hey, eating is cheating. Really? Because it feels more like winning to me. You're full of surprises, Miss Faye. I didn't expect that kind of innovation or gluttony. I solved the puzzle and enjoyed the bread. Win win, baby. Uh, but didn't Mr. Layton tell us at the start that we need to add another loaf of the exact same type? Hmm? Seriously? That's right. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't accept this as a solution to the puzzle. The death penalty. Yeah, well, Maya eats literally everything, so, you know. Well, all right, but is there really another better solution? Well, what do you think? Can either of you think of a different solution? I'm drawing a blank. I guess this kind of thing isn't for me. You both came up with such creative answers. I'm sure you'll be solving puzzles in no time. <sighs> But now it's time for the solution. The important thing in this puzzle solution is the angle of the loaf that is added. If the new loaf is placed upright like so. Oh, I get it. It's the number 1.1, right? Hey, that's right. That's a lot lower than 11. 
I don't know, like 10 times lower, Phoenix. Exactly. When solving puzzles, there is never just one correct method. It's essential to think flexibly and try many means to solve it. Sometimes critical thinking is the key to success. Right. I see what you mean. These puzzles are really something else. Well, if I see another puzzle like this, I'd still rather eat my way to the solution. God damn it, Maya. Hmm, you know, I don't think I'm cut out for brain-busting bread puzzles like this. I'll stick with good old regular bread, thanks. That's because we're ace bakers. Then... Or maybe ace attorneys? I guess we're better suited to using our hands than our heads. Is that so? In truth, I can't help but feel you're both a little out of place as bakers. If you'll pardon my saying so. Naturally, I won't force puzzles upon you. But if either of you should be interested, I would heartily recommend giving puzzles, puzzle solving a try. Professor, right now there's something else we need to try. Miss Eclair's freshly baked bread is getting cold. And I'm sure it tastes better hot. Oh dear, so it is. You know how I can get when it comes to puzzles. Well, young man, I must say it's a pleasure to have someone show such appreciation for my baking. He's f he is fun at parties. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Professor Layton, come get... Come on, we're all getting into the champagne. You know what? This open bottle of champagne reminds me of a puzzle that I once encountered. Have a go at it. When it comes to your bread, Miss Eclair, there's no limit to how much I can eat. Oh! <gasps> Oh no. Whoa, no! L Luke, what did he do? You... You shouldn't have said that. Huh? My, my, aren't you a darling? Well then, in that case, I suppose I'll just have to bring out my... special reserve. Hold on a moment, I'll just go and fetch it. Right, er, I think it's time I started preparing tomorrow's bread. Oh, yes, me too. It must be that time already. What did I just get into? Professor, wh what was that all about? I'm not entirely sure, but I do seem struck by a sudden sense of impending doom. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? Sorry to have kept you waiting. There you go. Have at it, but be warned. I won't take kindly to any leftovers. Well, th this loaf. Wait, where did those two go? Miss Maya, uh, Mr. Wright. Luke, it would appear that we have been left to tackle this particular task alone. Is it a puzzle? No, we both died from overeating. Whew, I'm stuffed! I believe this must be the most bread I have ever eaten in my life. Wait a sec. I've just realized we've finished eating, but Espella still isn't back yet. She went to the market, didn't she? She but, but Oh my, customers at this late hour, I'm sorry, but we're closed. That's him! That man over there! So he's the one, is he? Just a minute! What do you think you're doing barging in here like this? Stand aside, madam! This is a matter of urgency! W what are you going to do? You there, porcupine head! You're coming with us! Huh? P porcupine head? You don't mean me, do you? Who else in this room fits that description? Mm, certainly, you would appear to be alone on that particular front lane. So rude. Ah, I wish I had the top hat too right about now. Enough of your idle chit chat. Time to get going. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, it should be quite obvious. You're coming to the court, of course. The court? What? Mr. Wright, what did you do? Yeah, Nick, what did you do? I didn't do anything. The only thing you can accuse me of is making bread that's too good to eat. <clears throat> this man is not the one who's on trial. In that case, why is Mr. Wright being made to go to the court? That's simple, because the girl has requested him, of course. 
My god, she got in trouble in this world too, and she remembered that he's a fucking def defense attorney, but he doesn't remember yet. Girl? W what girl? Naturally, the girl facing trial for this evening's crime. That highness witch! Miss Espella Cantabella, no less. Hey, he doesn't know. Hmm? To be continued. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Whoa! Um, that's an awful lot that I missed. I missed a lot too. <clears throat> okay, so basically, Maya and Phoenix got sent to this other world, but they lost their memory when they got there. So they think that they've been, um, they think that they've been there for years, just doing the baking thing. But they've been there just as long as Layton and, um, they've been there just as long as Layton and, oh God, scene. But yeah, for some reason they forgot. So. Now they're going to remember, hopefully. Okay, there's a lantern. Oh, she's carrying the milk! Uh, we don't want no fuss and we don't want to hurt you, all right? Yeah, we just want your money, that's all. Hello? Yeah, you'll give it to us, won't you, without any fuss? <laughs> oh, and that's going to start a fire, or not. What? Oh, she started. Okay. Yeah, no. Fuck those guys right up. Well, she's a murderer. <laughs> Chapter two. The fire witch. She needs to go to jail. Dang. She was just defending herself. Uh, what? What is this place? The room is lit, but it's still somehow dark, and the atmosphere feels heavy. Nick, what are we doing in a place like this? Yeah, well, they were trying to attack her. Wouldn't you cook two men if they were trying to attack you? How should I know? We're just a couple of bakers, but I don't think they brought us here to make bread. Ah, is it... Is it me or is that guard staring daggers at us right now? Wow, that's terrible, Chica. So are you one of the one who's like, are you on the side of like when somebody tries to report like domestic abuse or something and the cops are like, is she dead? Sorry, we can't do anything. No, nah, that's bad nah, now. Mr. Wright, Maya. Ah, Espella. What exactly is going on? Oh, there's rats here. I'm sorry. I was the one who sent for you both. You sent for us? I... I'm being put on trial. Oh, wait. What? What happened? I don't know. I just don't understand what's going on. Well, yeah, but... You... You can't just be like, did she die? No, she could have died, possibly, if she didn't do that. So better to err on the side of caution. Well, yeah, but in this case, she was definitely in danger. We saw it with her own eyes. That man had a knife. The other one had really bad teeth. She, how could she have knocked them out? She's tiny. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think she expected to burn them alive like that. I don't know. I just don't understand what's going on. I didn't do anything wrong. I couldn't possibly murder anyone. M m murder I beg you, Mr. Wright, please, I need your help. Just one more time. Hmm? You need my help? What could I possibly do? Espella, I'm just a baker. The only thing I know about law is how to not get on the wrong side of it. Hmm. Wait, hold on a second. Espella, what did you say? You said you needed Nick's help just one more time. One more time? Like that song? 
Well, that's the whole thing. I'm pretty sure that she wasn't actually the one that did it. She probably said it, but I don't know if she's actually the witch. There might have been another witch that did it, and now she's being framed. Yeah, one more time. I'm not sure, quite sure myself, but when the knights came and took me, a vision suddenly appeared on my mind. It was Mr. Wright. He was, whoa, okay, what happened to the background? He was fighting for me, defending me. That brave blue figure, it was clear as day. I was fighting for you. Okay, where did the box go? Yeah, look at him. He's brave and blue. N no way, it's impossible. I mean, it's like I already said. I'm just a baker. I have a hard time, enough time rolling dough, let alone defending someone in court. I thought the same thing too at first, but I don't think that's quite true. You and Maya, sometimes, somewhere, you helped me. You fought for me as a defender. What's going on, trainer? A defender? What's wrong, Nick? I wish I knew, Maya, but hearing Espella mention a defender, I can't help but feel something inside of me just burning at the mention of it. It's my athlete's foot. No, I need my GL. My cream. Accused. Defender. It's time. Head, head forth, you two. Head forth? Um, where exactly are we going? To the courtroom in which today's trial will be taking place. The Chamber of Fire. Well, because he got sent to a magical world where he was a baker. Ch chamber of Fire? Make haste! If you are but a moment late, a guilty verdict will be delivered immediately! What? N no way! Mr. Wright, I... I'm truly sorry, Mr. Wright. I know this is all so sudden. It's a lost cause, isn't it? Well then, let's head inside, Espella. Huh? This overwhelming pressure. It feels so familiar somehow. Almost like deja vu. M Mr. Wright! Let's go! Let's go, Maya. Maybe we'll get a better idea once the trial gets underway. All right, let's do it. Do it to it, Nick. To the Chamber of Fire. What is this heat? It's like an oven in here. All right, Chica, enjoy your productivity. I will now pronounce the verdict. This court finds the accused guilty of being a witch. Wow, I, I just got here, you dumb bastard. No, oh, that's a different it. one. Please, please, I beg you to reconsider. I'm not. Witches are to be cast straight Holy fuck, we just witnessed a murder! <laughs> what? Jesus Christ! This is the the witch's court. What the fuck is going on? Well, so uh, how are you feeling, Nick? Uh, not good. <laughs> I had forgotten what this felt like up until now. Hmm. The butterflies in my stomach and the tension so thick you could slice it with a knife. All of these feelings. These are all feelings that I'm definitely familiar with. Anyway, <clears throat> we're here to fight for Espella and get her out of this place. That's right. The court is now in session. This for is the trial of Espella Cantabella. This is literally the judge just wearing old timey hood. That is straight up the fucking regular judge. Oh my god. Defender. Yes, your honor? Yours is a face I've not seen in any past trials. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure about this? Because you look familiar. But no matter. Start by stating your name, Defender. Yes, your honor. My name is Phoenix Wright, Ace Baker. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Baker? Lord, I want him to represent me. This court dictates that the accused is free to assign a defender of their choosing, my lord. 
<laughs> Very well. <laughs> At any rate, the results of this trial shall not change. <gasps> that aside, I've not yet seen hide nor hair of the Inquisitor assigned to this trial. Inquisitor? Oh, right. I should have noticed earlier. No one's there. Should the assigned Inquisitor fail to appear in court, I will have no choice but to dismiss all charges. Yeah, do that, please. He is an Inquisitor of high caliber, but if he does not come forward soon, this trial will end, and victory will then be declared in favor of this baker. Yeah! What? Hello? <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's you! The fancy lad! Wow, you can't even take off your own cloak. Lazy. Hello? Oh, you're the red-headed guy. Hello? What the? What? Knights of the court, I have but one question for you both. Are you prepared to cross swords? <laughs> I'm always prepared to cross swords. I, Inquisitor Zacharias Barnum. I'm indeed prepared to do battle, my lord. Uh, I wish I had a sword to cross. <laughs> Miss Baker? Sorry, Your Honor. I just didn't realize we could have swords here in the courtroom. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know we could have swords in the courtroom. <laughs> it is the way of the court knight. A knight must always ensure that he rides with a blade at his side. My blade is my finger! Now then, state your name, Sir Blue Knight. <laughs> huh? Huh? My name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a baker. How many times will they make me say it? <laughs> no! <laughs> a baker? Nick, quit with the long face. You look miserable. <laughs> no need to waste your breath. This trial will be over before you can utter a single objection. <gasps> Did you just say objection? For the security of all of Labyrinthia, my blade shall rend your defenses swiftly and without mercy. That's it, Barnum. Put another one out of their misery. Shut up, people. And this trial is pointless. Hand down the verdict already. Put that doughy defender on trial, too, I say. <laughs> wow. Stop sweating so much, Nick. I know it's hot in here. Maya's just like, dude, come on. Oh, boy. What's with all this excitement? You'd hardly think this was a courtroom. Crowd doesn't seem very interested in law, that's for sure. It's like they're all just hoping for a guilty verdict. Inquisitor Barnum, you may begin your opening statement. Put that away. As you wish, my lord. First, let us begin by recounting the events leading up to the murder. Is that acceptable, Sir Apprentice Baker? Uh, as you wish. The murder occurred this very evening. Yesterday, there was heavy rainfall in the area. Eventually, it gave way to sunshine. Which came just in time for today's parade. Although a few hours after the parade ended, the rain set in once more. Must have been when Aspella and the others were at the Great Archive. It continued to rain until just before the incident, which took place on a small path leading to the market. The accused had been out doing some shopping at the market. She returned home on that very same path. And on that forest path, two rogues named Robs and Mugs are said to have accosted the accused. One could assume the accused simply acted in self-defense. I see. Robs and mugs. Those two have appeared in court a number of times in the past. Two rogues, huh? <clears throat> so far, it may appear that the accused was more the victim. However, the situation soon changed. That's right. The accused, Espella Cantabella, knowingly and mercilessly murdered her two assailants. 
Antebella? <gasps> that girl, isn't she? I always knew she looked suspicious. Shh, not so loud. Yikes, there's that weird excitement again. I believe we now fully grasp what happened. It is getting late already. Let us begin the trial. Inquisitor Barnum, you may now begin. As you wish, my lord. The Inquisition will now hear eyewitness testimony regarding the night of the murder. Eyewitness testimony, huh? Looks like this trial is finally getting underway. I can't back down now. I have to fight! But I'm just a simple bread-making baker living a simple bread-making life. Ugh, the situation is more twisted than a pretzel, and I'm smack in the middle of it, god bread puns. But I have to do this to save Aspella. Okay, let's see if I can untwist this testimony and put this thing to bed. Da -da 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 -da. Who the f Hello? How many fucking witnesses are there? Allow me to welcome you all. Now, would each of you please state your name and occupation? Why the hell are there a million? Wait a minute. What's going on here? As I already explained, Sir Apprentice Baker, this is the eyewitness testimony. Speaking of bad... Oh, you're about to head out? Yes, I understand that, but there are four witnesses. Indeed, this many people inside the courtroom could pose a health and safety issue. Your Honor, that's, uh, that's not what, quite what I meant. Witness testimonies are supposed to be done one by one, as in one witness at a time. What are you talking about, child? We'd be here all night if we did that. That's right, young man. We have witnessed the very hand of fate reach out to us this evening. Oh, that guy's on something. Um, can we hurry this along, perhaps? These flowers won't sell themselves as much as my boss wishes they would. Then the path to knighthood is an arduous one, but I remain steadfast in my resolve as I traveled this long road. His sword is so wiggly! Nidal, his name is Nidal? I shall not falter, I will be victorious. Who cares, just question them all at once. We already know the girl in the cage did it, let's get on with it. Yeah, finish this already. I'd like to go back home and get to bed. Man, fuck these guys. All right, have a good one, Seer. Witnesses, again, state your names and occupations. I think I'm actually gonna stop it for now, too, because... Oh, man, I'm ready to... take care of other things. But yeah, we wait. Does that say... Oh, that's, that's my hit coin, 66 out of 72. I thought that was as many puzzles. I'm like, I haven't done that many puzzles. But yeah, very good. And now we're in another case, but we will work on this case at a later date, because tomorrow we're going to be doing more puzzling with Professor Layton. It's just a lot of puzzling happening this weekend. <laughs>